You see all those white spots behind me? That's all sheep, like a billion sheep up in the mountain. Wow. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from the beautiful Republic of Georgia. Today I'm very excited because I'm going to the extreme north of the country to Kazbegi, a beautiful mountain town on the border with Russia. And on the way, we're gonna stop at a town or a village that is famous because they invented the Kinkali or the Georgian dumpling. Yeah, so this road's called the, the Georgian Military Highway. It used to connect uh, Georgia with the Russian Empire. Along this way, there are some beautiful mountains. We'll be following the Aragui River all the way up. We'll be stopping in Pasanauri, this place where the Kinkali was born. And yeah, it's gonna be a great time. Yeah, so I don't know what to expect. I know it's just a winding road all the way up to the top of the mountains. Bring your sweater, even in July, because it gets really cold. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm hungry. Kinkali, it's been a while. And this is the military road. So for the next 34 kilometers, we're gonna go like this, just winding along this beautiful mountain. Over here we have a reservoir. Incredible, look at that body of water. Wow, it reminds me of like Lake Coman in Albania. Actually, it's just the colors, you know, the mountains, beautiful blues, and over here, just more peaks, right? Just jagged edges, beautiful. Two minutes into the drive, we have a mini market here selling tons of souvenirs. And the best part about it is the view right here. Oh, and we have some coffee and some juices. Turkish coffee? You want a coffee? Yeah, for sure. Coffee. For... What do you want? I need one. No, and then we go. Sand coffee. Mmm. Oh, it's nice, man. Mmm. Really hot. Black. This one has a little bit of sugar. That's good. A little sweet. Ah, you gotta let it sit for a second. Right, let me see this market. So there's a great stop to get some coffee, get a view, and if you want to, buy some souvenirs. They have a lot of traditional Georgian stuff, and they have other random stuff as well. You got some honey, you have uh, Georgian candy. Easy, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, great place. And a lot of tourists here, like a lot of tourists. So we're gonna keep going. Yep. Let's go. Uh, this road is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the whole country. People are coming up here to enjoy the mountains, enjoy the cool air. A lot of people come up here because they want to see snow and get selfies, right? Because we're going to go super high up into the mountains. Obviously in winter, lots of snow right now. Maybe some snow-cut mountains, maybe not, right? And I love the view overlooking the, the reservoir here. It's gorgeous. Super blue. A few trucks as well, so get ready. A little bit of traffic, right? This place is called Ananuri Fortress. It used to be an important place for uh, protection like against uh, invasions from the north. There's two uh, historical churches inside as well. Uh, it used to be kind of perched on the side of the mountain. Now they built a reservoir, like it's sort of like perched above this uh, lake. We're gonna walk into the fortress now. There's two churches inside, one above, one below. As you can see, the views overlooking the reservoir are epic. Wow, really old, huh? So we've got right here, the oldest tower here is from the 14th century, a traditional kind of fortification of this area. And we have like these different churches, one from the 17th century, one from the 18th century, with different kinds of uh, carvings on them. This tower reminds me of towers I've seen in Italy, like in San Gimignano, in Tuscany, very similar. Over here we have a church, and we have another church right over here. And as you can see, the inscriptions here, it's all old school Georgian, right? My, I'm not sure what it's gonna be, but it might be some lines from the Bible or like a hymn or it might be like the names of some of the people who worked on it or some kind of prayer. So this is the newer church, right? That's the yep. older one above mm -hmm. us. Yeah. This one, as you can see on the side, you have a ton of inscriptions plus at the top you have grapevines. Yeah, this uh, grapevine is a very important motif in uh, Georgian Christianity. Uh, grapes, of course, like wine is the big part of the culture and like it's reflected in the religious architecture as well. No, I love it. Yeah. This, these two right here and the cross, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we can walk inside as well. And this is still a functioning church. So church is in service every Saturday and Sunday, as well as every morning. And this is the church, right? Mm -hmm. So all over the walls, you see there's really old school frescoes from the 17th century. And then also plaster because later, you know, Soviet era, they cleaned it up. Yeah, later like they, they whitewashed the walls and like they've been able to restore some of them. 
ah, these are beautiful. Mm -hmm. This one's huge. So basically, obviously, it's always around Jesus, right? So yeah. the Bible. This, this one's quite unique, actually, because so you have like Jesus and, and the saints up above, but below you have this sort of like vision of hell. You can see some like devils and you can see some people who are condemned to uh, suffering. And so this kind of uh, wow. fresco is quite unique. It's a beautiful church. Huge ceilings like this. And then this over here, this is like more Russian style, right? Yeah, this is a Russian style, what they call this iconostasis, uh, the front of the church where they put the icons of the different saints. This is more Russian style. And as soon as you come out of the church, you go all the way to the far end, and you get beautiful views over the reservoir. And we have an abandoned church here, a mini beach. Over here we have, I guess, like a little watchtower, right? Yeah, gonna be a bell tower, actually. Bell tower, bell tower, sorry. It's a long day, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're done here. Let's continue. I need to eat. I want some kinkali. Can't wait. Thank you, All right, so we just got back in the car, and unfortunately for us, it started raining, so we're just trying to make it straight to the kinkali spot. And over here, we have uh, a river that it's like a white river and a black river. Yeah, so this is the Aragbi River. Uh, it's coming down from the mountains, like uh, to the center of Georgia. And up at, in the town where we're gonna have kinkali, this uh, two different branches of the river come together: the Black Aragvi and the White Aragvi. And so we'll take a look at the take a look at their meeting. And this is the Black and the White Aragui. So this is the confluence, right? This is where they connect. Black, white. I mean, you see the difference right away. Eventually, obviously, it mixes. Wow, beautiful. But I'm getting too wet. Let's get back in the car. Go. Let's go. I'm hungry. So next to the town confluence is like the small town of Pasanauri famous for as the birthplace of King Kali. And here we go, Gouda restaurant, G-U-D-A. They make some of the best King Kali in town. How are you? Everything good? I need King Kali, I need 10 King Kali. Here we go, in the kitchen, with all these beautiful ladies. King Kali? <laughs> okay, let's see it. King Kali, some of my favorite soup dumplings of all time. How does this work? Well, she flattens the dough, then she fills it with beef. After that, she folds it, and usually it's 19 plus folds. Anything less, it's not that good. Yeah, exactly. She does like 20, she said. Yeah, she said she should, it came out more than 20. I can't wait. I'm ready. This is amazing. We're trying five different types of finkale. So beef and pork, then we have mushroom, we have potatoes, we have cheese, and we have garlic. Garlic saying is extremely traditional. Beef is traditional, garlic is traditional, all born right here in this town. I'm most excited for the garlic one. Look at this, it's a little different, right? It's not like a dumpling, it's more like a samosa, empanada, like a, a pie, right? A little pie. Super thin, I love how she folds everything. Wow, the dough looks amazing. Anna, Anna, right? Yes. Anna, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome to Georgia to make difference when, when they are boiling all together. They just put all the kinkalis in to boil. It's gonna take like 10 minutes. They're also gonna make for me another dish. So what is it called? Klovana. Klovana. Yes. So it looks That's like a huge kinkali, but you added, what is this? It's cheese and? Cheese and beef. Cheese and beef? No, not beef. Oh, beets, beets. So yes. it's the leaf of the beet, right? Yes, leaf. Okay, and so cheese. beet, leaf. Little bit of salt I, and then salt. I mean, I would eat this entire ball myself so right you now. So you can try that. You try? Mm. Oh wow, nice fresh cheese, yes. incredible herbs. Mm. It tastes fresh, yes? It's super fresh. Yes. I mean, eat that whole ball and you're perfect. Yes. <laughs> so she rolled it all out, she put it on a pan and threw it into the oven, seven, eight minutes, it's ready. So in the next 10 minutes, we're eating everything. Plus we're gonna have some craft beer, some cha-cha, yes. homemade cha-cha. After 10 minutes, everything's done. We have the kinkali, we have this amazing dish, it's like a herbal pizza. She added extra butter on top, she cut into slices. Oh, it's gonna be the best. Magrabo, 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 magrabo. And this is our feast. I gotta say big thanks to my friends here at Gouda. Gouda restaurant, an amazing restaurant. Super modern, rusty at the same time. And here we go, we have a lot of kinkalis. So we have like five different variations. I'm gonna start off with the sheep or lamb kinkali, right? They were saying sheep, but it's lamb right here. So the way you eat it, flip it upside down and you go in. Make a little hole and suck. Mm, this is incredible. I mean, the juices of the lamb, so different from the beef and the pork. It's a whole different animal. Whoa. Mmm. 
So tasty, so fresh. And this lamb came from here, right? <laughs> and they bring spices from the Tusheti region to add to this one. Mm-hmm. Mm. And you always leave the little tip, right? And then, at the end, we see how many we ate, right? Yes. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a little challenge. How many are we gonna eat? And right here, we have the garlic and kali. A little different, right? So, and then, we add some butter on top. Completely different, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Wow, garlic. I mean, I'm a big fan of garlic. And here, in Georgia, some of the best garlic dishes ever. The, the chicken, creamy chicken dish with garlic, one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, if, you, if you're with your spouse, don't eat this. You're gonna have bad breath. <laughs> so no one's doing this one, only you guys. We have to have some cha-cha, and here we have the house cha-cha. Calmar Jos. Calmar Jos, Calmar Jos. House specialty cha-cha made with tarragon. Oh, that's good. And traditionally, quincale is only had with cha-cha and beer, or, or beer. No wine. Calmar Jos, cheers to the mountains. So the mushroom one isn't so juicy, but it's spicy. Mmm. Oh yeah. I love the way you guys do the dough. Still a little dense. Mmm, just different, right? Oh wow. Mmm. Mushroom, herbs. Oh, dude. And for this one, I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. Mmm. It was worth the wait. Wow. I'm so happy, Anna. I'm so happy. Maholavani. 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 Which is easier to pronounce. It's hard to pronounce. Cheese, beet leaves, and dough. Mm hmm. Mm. It's like a super earthy herbal pizza, basically. Nice light dough. Inside the whole filling. Oh, I love the beet, beet root leaf. Mm hmm. Dude. It's the truth, man. Wow. This is Georgian bread with beet leaves. Potato quincales. They do this shape so you can tell which is which, right? So it looks like a fish shape, right? The way they did the dough. And I'm gonna add some pepper. I love pepper, black pepper. Potatoes. Mmm. Oh my god, different world. If I had to compare it to anything, I'd say this is like almost like potato gnocchi, right? But huge, mmm. And adding the black pepper, it's the best thing ever. Huge fan. Tim, you want one? Did you put some of this butter on? I didn't, but you could. Oh man, I'm gonna try it. Let's try this. Oh man, that was super cool. So remember guys, this is very different from anything else you have in the world, right? Never really compare it, but at the same time, try to understand what the differences are, right? So for me, I mean, potato is not my favorite. I think my favorite was the lamb one, like out of all of them, wow. Market one, mmm, look at that. I just love the dough here. Mm -hmm. So this is Black Lion, the first craft brewery in Georgia, and this is an American pale ale, not Indian pale ale, American. It's very, you know, crisp, almost looks like a pilsen. Mmm, it's crafty. Nice head. Oh, very light. I'm guessing it's 4.5%, right? 5.5%. Nice. And so you can find this all over the country because I've only seen it here. It was great. So now you know, Black Lion. It's a good beer. It's nice. It's easy to drink, but it's still crafty. It's not one of these crap beers, right? What is this? Shepherd's Cut. They were sleeping in it. They were traveling in it. Yeah. Oh, my turn. Tim, let's see how it look. Like a shepherd. Oh, there's nowhere to put my arms, right? Just get yes. just, just take over. Oh, the shoulder. Like that? Yes. How's it look? Good? You look good, man. You look good. With the hat on everything? Yeah, good. absolutely. Perfect fit. There I take go. it. 
<laughs> my friend, thank you so much. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. The and best. We are waiting for you in Georgia and in Guda. You're always welcome. The best Kinkali in all of Georgia, right here. Thank you. Thank you. So good, so good. Let's go. Let's go. Making a quick stop uh, to try some cha-cha. Tim, what is this place? So this is another restaurant on the in Pasanuri on the on the side of the highway. We're gonna try, I think, some uh, melon, some uh, peach, and some regular cha cha. The building is like a rustic alpine house, right? Two stories. Outside you have a terrace. To the left you have some fish. You have a rabbit. Really beautiful setting. You have people eating inside, outside, and now we're gonna try some cha cha. Camarjos. Camarjos, my friends. Oh, this is smooth, light, melon. Oh, it's the best, give me a liter. So we came up to the top to see the terrace. Beautiful dining area inside, outside. Love it, look at this, rustic. It really reminds me of the Albanian Alps. Very similar, just in like everything. From the buildings, to the mountains, to the beautiful river right there. I love this place, dude. Yeah, this is a beautiful place, David. Absolutely amazing. Let's keep going. Still have a long way to go, about an hour and a half to get to the top. So over the past 30 minutes, we've been driving along the river, going slowly to get our way up. It's getting colder, but the, I mean, the views are insane. Look at all these mountains, beautiful, lush, green. You have some jagged edges. Going up over the Juari Pass, uh, which is uh, gonna cross over like the main ridge of the Caucasus. Uh, and we'll come down on the other side of Stepan Zminda. Um, yeah, we're going up. Uh, hopefully we can get past a few of these trucks and uh, have a nice trip. And why are there so many trucks? Now this is the main highway connecting uh, Georgia and Russia. So like all of the transport from there, like all the goods, like going to Armenia and everything else, like they're coming along this road. So we're making it to the top of the pass and right now we're gonna see Gudauri, the biggest ski resort in the area. Like we can see it right here. Here's uh, the ski resort. Obviously there's no snow there right now, but uh, loads of people come here in the winter time and have fun in the snow. After we get past Gudauri, we'll be crossing down into Stefan Sminda. It's the biggest ski resort in Georgia, so if you come here in the winter months, this is where you have to go. So we're here in Gudauri, and I gotta say, you better bring a sweater in the summer because it's freezing. And I might stop soon and get myself a wool hat because the temperature just keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. And as we get more and more north, it's gonna drop even more. Wow. So this place is a big like mix in terms of like hotels, houses, it's all over the place. It's not like one ski resort with a lift. It's everywhere, right? Absolutely, yeah. Like there's like, the, all the slopes here are just covered with different uh, hotels and ski resorts. You see all those white spots behind me? That's all sheep, like a billion sheep up in the mountain. Wow. Woo. It's freezing too, Tim. Oh yeah, it's, it's cold, man, it's cold. How much, our window. How much time left? Um, about half an hour. We gotta get up to the pass and we're gonna go roll, roll on down. This is it, we just passed the Cross Pass. Highest point, 2300 plus meters above sea level. Wow, we are in the clouds. Look at the mountains here. You can't even see the road. This is insane. How do you do this, bro? Oh man, you just gotta keep a steady hand on the wheel. All right, we're just uh, entering Stepan Sminda, also known as Kazbegi. Uh, unfortunately, the weather is not the greatest. Well, we got a little bit of rain, we've got overcast skies, so we can't see the main mountain, which this place is most famous for, is hidden in the clouds. But hopefully uh, tomorrow morning, it'll clear up a bit. We just passed the center of the town, beautiful little square, a few supermarkets. We made a right, we're going up the hill, and I think we're staying at a place called Alpine House. Yep, they're called Alpine House. They're right over here, and we're we're heading right in. How are you? Yeah, it's good. Good? Yeah. And this is where we're staying tonight, Alpine House. So it's a 12 room hotel, right? As soon as you walk in to the left, here we have lobby area, reception. Over here to the right, we have the restaurant, and it's three stories. We're going up to the second story, where my room is. In terms of accommodations, they have a few different styles of rooms, right? So they have a double, a triple, they have queens, and then they have like more modest accommodations that don't have bathrooms, so they have shared bathrooms. Exactly. Right? And then over here to the left, this is your room. This is where I'll be staying. So it's a double, yeah. right? Beautiful. This is all super rustic, right? Mm -hmm. So all wood, everything's super nice. 
you know, this is Alpine. Same thing in Albania, same thing in the Swiss Alps, you know, just beautiful wood, nice warm. You got the heater, you have a little table over here. So you have your coffee, right? You can do some work here. And I love the bathroom, super clean. Over here is my room. Let me turn on the lights here, All right? So same type of bathroom, but I have a queen size bed and I have this view. Wow, beautiful. Amazing. So we have mountains over here. Unfortunately, we have a lot of clouds right now. It's raining, but that's where the main range is, right? Yeah, exactly. It's all covered in clouds right now, but if it was going to be clear, you could see Mount Kazbek more than 5,000 meters high, like right there, right straight in front of us. I can't believe we can't see it. Yeah, it's absolutely. It's so close. Like maybe I hope we'll see it in the morning because it's something to see. And right below us, we have the terrace, right? So we have a few different tables, very rusty as well, all wood. So I think it's time to go downstairs, have a cha-cha and maybe have a salad or something, something light. We had dinner like at 5.30, so. Yeah, just something, a little snack to have before bed. I need to eat something, I can't go to bed hungry. And this is the restaurant. Oh wow, what are we doing here, cha-cha? This is like a cha-cha fight? Okay, it is cha-cha time, my friends. All right. Okay. Gabar Jos, Gabar Jos, Gabar Jos. Wow. That's strong. Yeah. A little chaser. Yeah. Mmm. Dude, try this. Oh, what's this? Mmm. Cherry juice, I think. All right, David, this is dinner. It looks like we got a uh, tomato and cucumber salad with walnuts, uh, your regular puri bread. Looks like this is uh, lobio, the bean stew with a fried corn patty on top, mchadi. Some different kinds of pickles. We have the jonjoli again. This, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like some, some kind of egg dish. Uh, in a in a clay pot uh, Might be some potatoes inside there as well. It's like we got a wrap over here. It's like it's a uh, chicken uh, some salad uh, With some like fries and ketchup. We've got uh, some different kind of fried vegetables Looks like some chicken and sesame seeds on top. And that's it my friends. We are ready to eat We have a feast here between everything. I don't know what to start with beans. Yeah, let's go for it. These look so good mm. Mm. Super nice Clay pot, man. Wow. Yeah. I think this one's prepared with uh, some walnuts in it. 100%. Mm -hmm. They're so creamy. Yeah. And this one has a nice uh, sort of kick of spice to it. It's mm -hmm. like extra spicy. Extra spice. I'm gonna have to have more of that later. Shit, it's good. It's too good. Mm -hmm. And this one over here is the, their main dish, right? Yeah, they're house special. They're house special. Mm -hmm. So it's um, like egg, cream. I don't know what else is in here. Some potatoes, some chicken, some mayonnaise, they said. Some, some, some tomatoes as well. Wow, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. So it's like a creamy tava dish, right? Mm -hmm. Clay pot. Mmm. Delicious. What is in there? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to eat more of that for sure. Mm -hmm. 100%. Okay, me too. That's the one dish you have to have when you come here. And then this one is like a fajita, right? Yeah. Literally, it's fajita. That's mm -hmm. what she said. And yeah. it's, uh, it's like a cracker here, mm -hmm. right? Let's get that. Yeah, some of that. Mm-hmm. To be honest, I'm pretty full from the King Cali because we had a lot of dumplings earlier, but this food is absolutely amazing. It's so amazing. good, like you just got to have some of it. Mm-hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. Everything's from farm, right? Farm and table, straight from here in these mountains. Exactly, and they looks like they got a, a really good uh, staff in the kitchen there. This stuff is delicious. I've tried this tomato. So this is walnut. We have coriander. I don't know what else is in here. Purple basil. Mm. The coriander and purple basil. Little changes. Mm -hmm. And the salad. You know, if you just saw it, you think maybe it's like a Greek salad, mm -hmm. you know, just a fresh summer salad, mm -hmm. but it's not. It's a different thing. Exactly. Walnuts all day too. Yeah, all the different herbs like bring really bring the flavors together. Mm-hmm. Dude, I get walnut taste everywhere. Mm -hmm. At this point, everything is like just blending together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what's this? That's fried cornbread. Just fried cornbread, my friend. Cheers. Cheers, man. Mmm. Where has this been on my life? In the States, we don't do a fry like that. Mm -hmm. Just fluffing cornbread. Yeah, exactly. Here, nice, crispy, yeah. crunchy. And this is the sort of uh, this sort of cornbread, like 
is often served with the lobia with the beans. So it's a so you put it together. Can, you can just like scoop it up like this. Come on. That's it. Mm. Perfect combination. Hey, Gamarjos. Gamarjos, Gamarjos. That's it, my friends. We had an epic Ooh. day. <laughs> Driving up on the military road. Absolutely. All the way up here to Kabaji. To Kazbegi. Kazbegi, Kazbegi, Kazbegi. Okay, so we went all the way up. We stopped at a fortress. We stopped at the town to try. Uh, the Kinkali, right? The exactly. The Gouda restaurant. This is like the most famous place because that's where it was invented. We tried five different styles. Potato, garlic, uh, lamb, beef, what else? Mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And then we had that incredible, I don't even know how to call it. I mean, cheese, bread, and then yeah. herbs. The Maklovani. The Maklovani. The bread with cheese and uh, beetroot leaves. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And after that, we made our way all the way up here, going through the pass, incredible views. I mean, it got a little crazy with the rain, but I mean, just the mountains, the scenery, the sheep, the trucks, the nonstop trucks, because obviously this is where it connects the border with Russia. And we made it here to Alpine House, incredible hotel, right? So 12 yeah. rooms. Exactly, three floor, three stories. Yeah, very and wonderful hospitality. Exactly. You know, like, kind of couldn't ask for better food, uh, friendly staff. Very rustic, you know, you're up here, you know, in the mountains, beautiful place. Tomorrow we're going to be exploring the whole area. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. It is, we got to 30 at night. <laughs> and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And I'm going to eat some more of this food. Oh, yeah. This potatoes. Oh, yeah. Mm. This one's amazing.